Unsolicited messages were touched on briefly in the main course, but it's a good idea to dive into this topic a bit more in depth, as there are some important things to know while using them. As a reminder, unsolicited event messages can be created in Product Call Creator by checking the unsolicited box. Unsolicited events are events that our show controller does not initiate. Essentially, we're telling the product file to watch for a certain regular expression to be matched, and if so, do something with the data that's been sent to us. When the unsolicited box is checked, you'll notice the outgoing message tab disappears. Important note, if you're creating an unsolicited message, it's a good idea to check the hidden box as well. Since unsolicited messages cannot be initiated from our show controller, there's no need to select that specific event from the drop-down box in WinScript Live, as you are adding product files, events, into your script. So, by selecting hidden, this specific event will not show up in the drop-down box. Now to put together a quick example. Say that every minute or so, the external device blasts out a heartbeat to us and includes a variable we'd like to save and track. Make sure the unsolicited and hidden boxes are checked. Event name, heartbeat, description, listens for the device's heartbeat, and stores the data into variable heartbeat. Then, let's add our regular expression. Our incoming message looks something like this. Heartbeat, space, 45, hex, 0D. Now, we can capture it just like we would anything else. Heartbeat and the space are a constant. The number 45 is an example of the data we'd like to capture. Add it as a variable and then create the variable heartbeat. Again, this is var underscore heartbeat. The carriage return is also constant. Now, every time this message is sent to the show controller, the product file will parse out and update our heartbeat variable, and we can use that variable inside our script. Finally, if you ever needed to reply to an incoming unsolicited message, you can use the send response checkbox. You can then select a different event that only consists of an outgoing message, like this. Create a new event. Name, heartbeat response. Description, response to the unsolicited heartbeat event. Uncheck the incoming message box as all this will do is send an outgoing message. Also check the hidden box, as we don't want our programmers to access this event either. The syntax for this outgoing message is all just a constant, with the ASCII of got it, exclamation point, hex, zero D. Now to link these two events together, go back to your heartbeat event and check the send response checkbox and select our heartbeat response event that we just created. That's it. Now when the unsolicited incoming message of heartbeat is ex executed, not only will you capture the data within the heartbeat event itself and store it in the variable underscore heartbeat device variable, but it will also trigger the heartbeat response event to be executed.